Many private landowners have forested property they want to manage to ensure long-term forest health. They may also want to address immediate goals or concerns, such as restoring their forests, selling timber for profit, or reducing wildfire risk. The solution to address any of these concerns is active forest management. Hi, I'm Nate Beckman with the Colorado State Forest Service. I'm here to talk to you about the different methods and equipment options you have for managing your forested property. The first step to managing your forest is to contact a professional forester. You also will need to consider the type of forest on your property and your forest management objectives. The type of forest and tree species often dictates the options available to you. In Colorado, there's a few different forest types that you'll find on your forested property. These include ponderosa pine, lodgepole pine, and mixed conifer. Other factors that will determine the best management options for your property include your own personal objectives, the size of the property, accessibility and operability of the forest land, and the current market value of the trees. Once you've considered these factors, you'll want to consider the different options for completing the management work. Let's take a look at the different equipment types and the pros and cons of each. We're going to start with the smallest, most simple pieces of equipment, working our way up to the largest, more complex pieces of equipment. Perhaps the simplest and least resource intensive option for forest management is hand felling with a chainsaw. It is recommended that you only hire a fully insured sawyer with past chainsaw experience to remove pre-marked trees by hand. This is a good option when selectively thinning trees, especially on smaller plots and steeper or poorly accessed terrain. There is virtually no soil damage or need for land rehabilitation. However, this option can often be the most expensive and time consuming if trying to remove a large number of trees. If hand felling isn't necessary for the project or is cost prohibitive due to the size of the project, you may opt for the use of large equipments. For these larger projects, contractors are typically utilized for the benefit of mechanized equipment. Larger skid steers or tractors modified to have a tree shear or mastication head on the front end to cut or mulch smaller trees can be ideal to thin out forests to reduce wildfire risk or meet other management goals. These pieces of equipment may either be on wheels or tracks and would be provided and run by a contractor. Wood grinders are other pieces of large equipment sometimes used to mulch wood from intermediate to large projects if the wood will not be utilized. If wood will be utilized from intermediate sized projects, including for sale or personal use, other equipment may be employed. This may include smaller log skidders to deliver logs from treatment areas to designated landing areas and potentially the use of logging trucks. Processing equipment also might be employed to process logs on site prior to loading. For the largest forest management or timber harvesting operations, mechanized equipment is usually used. Although the cost of mechanized equipment is fairly high, the cost per acre tends to be lower than other systems on large acreage projects. Let's go ahead and take a look at the different equipment used on large acreage projects. Feller bunchers are large-scale harvesting devices used for logging operations. These motorized vehicles have a front-end attachment that can cut and gather multiple trees at once. Once feller bunchers cut and gather small loads of trees, the limbers or processors are frequently used to remove any remaining branches, such as seen with lodgepole pine here, prior to staging at a landing site. Forwarders or skidders are often used to transport large logs from the stump to roadside landings. Like feller bunchers, they are typically used only for larger timber harvesting projects. Log loaders and trucks represent the final pieces of forestry equipment used in timber harvest operations. They move partially processed logs from landing locations to mills to complete the processing. A final harvest method worth mentioning involves the use of a helicopter to remove timber that has typically been felled by hand. Helicopter logging is ideal for areas that are difficult to access or where road construction costs are prohibitive but where the removal of logs is a priority. However, this also is perhaps the most expensive harvest option per acre addressed. If you'd like more information about the forestry equipment covered here, or forest management in general, please contact your local Colorado State Forest Service field office.